Today we're in Yankton, South Dakota. It's April in the great state and we're standing in front of our research uh, greenhouse and we're gonna talk about soil pressure. Compacted soil, airless soil, tight soil, hard as a brick soil, soil that is a problem to every grower that has it and we know who we are. If only there was a way or a tool that we could use to measure compaction, to put a number on compaction, to precisely tell us how tight is our soil. Ha! As luck would have it, we have a tool just like that, commonly called a penetrometer, or many growers will call it a compaction meter. This penetrometer measures soil tension, soil compaction, in pounds per square inch. A downward pressure into your soil will move the gauge and it will show you how tight, how airless or how compacted and rigid it may be. These numbers are scientific, they're exact, and this tool doesn't know how to tell a story that isn't accurate. 200 pounds per square inch, 200 PSI, will tell you where your microbes are happy and partying and working to grow a plant. This 200 pounds per square inch shows up on the green zone on your gauge. This is a wonderful environment for your microbes. 200 pounds per square inch on this gauge can also be translated or equated into the composition of healthy soil which those graphs and those pie charts will show healthy soil needs to contain 25% air. As luck would have it, 25% air in the soil will show up as 200 or less pounds per square inch on this tool. Everything can be cross-checked and watched. This is an accurate tool that gives wonderful scientific numbers that tells how healthy, how unhealthy, or actually how compacted or airless your soil is. In order to do a compaction test on your soil, find a spot, grab onto the handles, and do a light, steady, downward pressure. And what we're waiting for is the gauge to, to, to hit 200 PSI, right there. Once you hit 200 PSI, this is the true aerobic zone of the soil. This is the home that the microbes like. This is the environment that your soil minerals have structured to create a home for the beneficial soil microbes within your ecosystem. So to see how deep our aerobic zone is, we pull this up and we have three, six, nine, 12, 15, we have 18 inches of aerobic zone. Now, <laughs> this isn't a normal reading for most areas. We have a deeper aerobic zone right here, right now, for two reasons. One, we just came out of, of winter. There was freezing and thawing, and that frost fractured and loosened and opened up the soil. This just got a mowing yesterday. So it was the first mowing of the season. So the plants haven't pulled hard on it. it. We haven't had hot weather. We haven't had stress on this soil to harden it up or to tighten it up. So we better have a good deep reading. The second reason this soil better be soft and deep is we use our own calcium on this. And if it isn't soft here, I shouldn't be talking about it. So we have a nice, deep aerobic zone of 18 inches. If you check your field in the spring and that you see you have a nice six, nine, 12, 15 inches of aerobic zone and you're thinking, yeah, 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 this is great. My fields are awesome. I got air deep. I'm gonna grow a lot of microbes. Party on, this works. That's great. But please check every 10 to 14 days when that soil is drier when it's harder, when it gets hotter, and when you get close to reproduction. 
weather stresses soil. In many soils that we see soft, mellow, and relaxed in the spring, have a whole different personality. They get hard and they get tight and they get compact and they get airless. And what may be 12 or 15 or 18 inches today, you may be at one to two inches in June, July, and August. It's an important number to look at because if your soil tightens up at reproduction time of your plant, reproduction being flowering, silking, tasseling, blossoming, that's the first time that that plant really starts pulling hard on that soil. And you gotta have air in this soil because the microbes need it, the minerals need the oxygen. Oh, and guess what? The air that goes into your soil has 78% nitrogen. And a little secret, that's free. They haven't figured out how to charge for it yet. So you want a good deep depth of 200 pounds per square inch to get that air deep to pull the nitrogen and the oxygen into the soil because that's the beginning of a healthy ecosystem.